Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. We made this video to help clear all the doubts which so many students have while applying for the Inspire scholarship. It is a very simple procedure. You can do it yourselves from your room if you have a computer and a good internet connection. And even if you don't, you can go to the cyber and do it yourselves without seeking help from someone who is not competent enough. Basically, it consists of two parts. The first one is the registration part and the second one is filling up the application and submitting it. I am discussing only the first part here. The second part is discussed in the next video. So the first thing required is opening the web page of the Inspire program. So we type the address that is www.online-inspire.com.in and on the home page we can clearly see a link that is register here where you should click on for completing the registration process so here you can see the registration form choose your salutation according to your gender and profession enter your first name middle name and last name you can skip entering the middle and last parts of your name since they are not mandatory only those fields which are marked with a red asterisk are mandatory and you cannot leave them blank otherwise you can leave them blank Choose your gender, enter your mobile number, uh, your date of birth, enter your uh, email ID, which you have to uh, re-enter it again to confirm. And uh, for the purpose of uh, making a password uh, for this particular process, you should refer to the box, uh, which is on the right side, uh, where a particular rule has been uh, prescribed. So one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, and one digit, and one special character must be included in your password. Uh, Re-enter your password again to confirm. Choose your eligibility criteria. In the identification details, choose Aadhaar card if you have an Aadhaar card and enter the Aadhaar card number. But if you don't have an Aadhaar card, but you have already enrolled for it, then choose the Aadhaar enrollment ID for which uh, you need to provide the enrollment ID number and enrollment date and time. And if you haven't enrolled for an Aadhaar yet, you should provide your bank account details, for which you need to enter your bank account number, the IFSC code, and you need to upload the bank passbook in the PDF format, the size of which must be less than 1 MB. Uh, we have Aadhaar, so we are using Aadhaar card and enter the Aadhaar card number. So now we are just one step away from completing the uh, registration process. So I am filling the CAPTCHA verification code. I am not seeing it clearly, so I am refreshing it and entering the new code again. I am clicking on the submit button. Now we are finally done and here is a from notification telling me that I have been successfully registered with the Inspire program and that an activation link has been sent to my email. So I'm opening my email account, my password. So here is the email from DST Inspire. There are two ways of activating the account. Either you can click on this link which is indicated by the pointer. So uh, I have successfully activated my account. The another way of activating your account is clicking uh, on this link, copying it and uh, pasting on the address bar. But I have already done with the first one so uh, I don't need to do this again. Now I'm going to the Inspire homepage again where I will be entering my email and my password and clicking on the sign in button. The server is busy so it was unsuccessful but uh, we can try and we'll surely be able to sign in uh, which is being shown in the next video. If you like my video Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good time guys.